welcome back to Mark Misty and Matthews Performance Channel here at Mark's Racing Engines. M &M. M -M -M. Uh, we are still uh, under shop construction and it looks worse now than it did before. But I can. Happens when we have a lot of shit. Right. <laughs> so. But we are hauling shit out of here and scrapping stuff by the damn bucket full in the tractor. So anyway, but what I got to show you today is a uh, a, a problem that, that you might run into if you run a small block 400 and you want to drill the steam hole. Uh, this customer brought me these heads and said that uh, it was leaking water. He wanted me to check them and surface them. Um, and the first thing I noticed right off the bat, I, I haven't cleaned them yet, but the first thing right off the bat that I noticed was that somebody grilled these. These are 882s are prone to cracking anyway, but uh, somebody had drilled the steam holes in this thing, and apparently the gasket that they used must have been offset uh, because we have this problem right here. And I don't know if you can see that, so it'll focus, but... This area right here is where the head gasket firing is, and they've drilled it offset. You can see where it should have been drilled. They've drilled it offset to one side, uh, and it's, I believe, what's happening is, and you can really see it good on this one too. Focus. Focus. How do you make these damn things focus? Tap the screen. Yeah, tap it right where you want. Oh, there we go. Man, you learned something new. Anyway, if you can see that right there, the uh, if you see where the the firing on the head gasket is, and you see this, there's not a whole lot there, and I believe it's, it was probably leaking, and it's like that on every one of these. Uh, some of them are worse than others. So what I'm going to do is is uh, I'm going to plug those and then I'm going to re-drill those. This one here is pretty bad too. This this particular cylinder I can see evidence of water uh, and I think the gasket was actually seeping right there. It was getting hot on him so but we're also going to check it for cracks too. So anyway the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to drill this out I'm going to tap it for one of these, which is a repair pin, and screw that in there, cut it off, and then uh, re-drill the hole, and then surface the heads. So we're going to take you through that journey. I'm going to be right back because I've got to, I can't drill and hold the camera at the same time. So I'm going to do that, and then I okay, get to tap, I'll, and then I'll, we'll get going. I've already started this process, and you know, for the interest of saving time, I'm not going to sit here and film all of it. but. Uh, and I've started tapping this one, but this is a repair pin tap. Uh, these are the pins right here. Um, I think I've just got barely enough to finish this thing. I need to buy some more. They sell these in different um, uh, uh, sizes. Sizes uh, from really, really teeny tiny, like. These little guys here on up, uh, you make got to make sure you got the right tap for the right pin. Uh, that being said, you know I mean you, you want to make sure whatever hole you're drilling, like if you're fixing a crack, because the way you fix cracks with these is you you uh, stitch things up. You know you you'll you would actually pin this one screw it in and if you see where I got the pins screwed in on this side I hadn't cut them off yet uh, and you need to put some Loctite on these before you screw them in and don't screw them in screw them in until just before they break off because if you break them off sometimes they can break below the surface sometimes that's not a bad thing if you're fixing a crack like say you're going say there's a crack here you know you could run those repair pins and lap them over the top of each other but we'll get into a video of doing that some other time right now we're just trying to pin these holes so I can re-drill them and move them over so 
Uh, but you want to clean the hole up because you don't want the bottom of the tap out because if you do, it'll break. And if you break one of these taps, they're expensive. They're 100 bucks a piece. And Dang. yeah, uh, they may have come down since the last time I bought one, but they were about. They may gone up. I don't know. Uh, this is Regis's uh, version of you know Regis shop supplies and Goodson sells them too. But also, uh, you can look up a company called Lock and Stitch. Uh, they have a special repair pin that actually pulls a crack together. Um, and I have some of their stuff too. But for this right here, we're not gonna we're not gonna go into all that. So anyway, I'm gonna finish tapping this hole here. And uh, I, what I use for the taps is just a square shank uh, a socket, and then I have a, a square shank, a five sixteenth square shank socket for the tongue twister. Yes, for the pins. <laughs> so the pins fit in that, and these you don't hardly see them anymore, but uh, you know. They come in a lot of cheap socket sets. I think that's where these came from. I've had them for years. But they make great pin drivers. And basically, you want to tap it so that it doesn't bottom out. Now, if your pin's going to bottom out on something after you get done tapping it, so it's a good idea to test fit them. If it's going to bottom out, you need to grind the end of the pin off, like if you're repairing a crack or something. Some places are hard to get to. But you can fix just about any cast iron uh, crack with repair pins, just about. Intake valleys, etc., etc. You can, you can do it. I have done it. So, and small block Chevys and small block Fords and stuff are starting to get hard to find. And so, you know, now right there, it just kind of gave me a little resistance and stop. So we're going to come back on out of the hole. Sorry, I'm all up in the grill. That's all right. So, now I'm going to blow these holes, <clears throat> these holes out and test fit the pins to make sure they're actually going to get tight. Because... So, when you screw these pins in, now of course, you want to put Loctite on them. I put epoxy on them put epoxy down the hole and put Loctite on, on them too uh, and especially in this instance you want to make sure that, that that they're tight they're not wiggling around see like that pin is tight so we know we've got a good depth on that pin same with that one. Now, if you put the wrong pin in it like too small of a pin It'll never tighten up. So if you had one of these pins and try to go in that hole, it'll never tighten up. It just it, it, it'll go in there, but it, it never really fits very tight. It's it's pretty pretty loose all the way through. So those won't seal up very well. So use the correct pin for the correct tap. The way this works is that, that that is tapered, and the pins are tapered, so, you know, it, it kind of wedges it in there when you tighten it up. Alright, so now we know we got our repair pins. Uh, now what you want to do is make sure that they're clean, and I'm going to put these two, I'm going to go ahead and put all of them in except for this one, and I'll show you the last one, I'll show you what I do. Film putting this one pin in, uh, but basically you just put epoxy and Loctite on it in the hole and screw it down and, and the, the idea is to turn it as tight as it'll get but don't snap it because it can snap below the surface and then you have to drill it out and do it over again so uh, unless it's just minute but uh, the best way to do it is do it you know get it, get it as tight as you can get it and then come in here with a cutoff wheel make sure you're not going to cut anything else to get it as close as you can You can just break it off. Mm -hmm. 
and then file it down the rest of the back up that really close. But, right, anyway. So we're going to do that. Now we're going to file these flat. And then I'm going to lay the head gasket up there, and I'm going to go ahead and redrill the holes now, and then I'm going to take them apart and run them through the back uh, before we do any other work. Here. So we'll be back when I get I, the I didn't when film I a lot of this, and I should have, but it's, it's, it's pretty much elementary stuff. Uh, so I, I went back and filed them off, and then I redrilled the holes using a known good gasket with the Dow pins in there. And I think what happened is somebody either got a gasket that was offset to one side or something, or, or whatever, but uh, you actually have to put the balcons in there to locate it. And uh, once you get it located, uh, here, I'll just get the balcon. All right. Now you can see they're all, and of course this one's moved up a little bit, but uh, actually I have the gasket on backwards, but uh, anyway, you see they're, in, they're within range. Now the thing about these holes is they don't have to be that big. Uh, an eighth inch hole on the ends. Uh, now I drilled it, the ones in the center a little bit bigger for a reason. Uh, and, and that reason was because that was the drill bit I had in my drill at the time. So, but eighth inch is all you need on those holes. Uh, these holes are supposed to be a little bit bigger. I don't know. As long as they got the steam holes, I don't even, even on the street, man, I don't even run steam holes on my stuff. Uh, if you're running around and idling a whole bunch, then it's probably a good idea. But if you're street racing, you definitely don't want to do it. That's a place for a crack to start or a leak. Matter of fact, I plug the steam holes in the block, too, on the 400 block. So, that's... That's it in a nutshell. Now I gotta tear these things down, run them through the vat, which I probably should have done already. I didn't see any cracks and I'm magna flux them, but I hadn't run them through the vat yet. Hopefully there's no cracks under the seat somewhere. Uh, I'm 99% sure that that's what was causing this issue. So uh, we're gonna run through that and magna flux them again. If they're all good, then we'll surface them and put them back together and send them down the river. That's going to be it for us, unless there's a crack, and then we'll...